Okay, what is up guys? It has been a while, but um, this is going to be the 18th video in this tutorial series. This is actually going to uh, wrap up the entire series. All we're going to do is we're going to make it so um, our app here has levels. So every five walls or so, the walls are going to start speeding up and they're going to come in shorter intervals. So I don't know why I didn't just like record this video earlier because it's literally the last video in the series and um, I just got really busy with things. So let's start. Uh, there's just going to be two files we're going to be working with, just the game scene and the constants file here. So to start, we're going to, um, we're going to make a variable for our current level. So let's go to the top and just say var current level equals zero. So when our game scene is initiated, all it's going to do is going to set this variable, um, our current level to zero. So um, coming back down here, I was in the, wait, I wanted the update method. Okay. So um, now right here, we, the first thing we need to do is we need to set a constant in our constants file for the number of levels that we want for when um, the level is going to increment. So since I want after every five walls for our, uh, for our level to get higher and our walls to start speeding up, I'm going to set a variable right here. And um, let's just like make another section here. We're just gonna call these game variables. And the variable is going to be called k number of points per level. So all it's saying is that every five points that a user accrues, we want to increment the level, or that's what we're going to do in our update method here. So um, now that we have that constant established, let's go over here just under incrementing our points label. We want to, um, we want to run a check to see whether or not uh, the number of points is equal, is a multiple of five essentially. So I'm going to say if points label dot number. So we just want to grab the number of points um, after the points are incremented. And we're going to do this modulus k number of points per level here um, is equal to zero. So all this is doing is this is going to check. It's going to check. Um, so let's say our points label number is four. Since this is five, it's going to give us zero. Because um, all it does is it gives us it gives us the remainder of what anything that would be um, oh shoot sorry I mean like the remainder would be four so um, say this points label number was four this is five it's four modulus five is just going to be four because four is the remainder when you divide those um, say this was six if you did six modulus five it's going to give you one so um, all that is is just the uh, the leftover number um, after you divide those two numbers. I probably didn't even need to explain that. I'm sure you guys um, understand that. So now what we want to do is we want to, now that we kind of have done this check, we want to, um, we want to stop the wall generator from generating and we want to start it again with a new interval. So we need to create one more constant. This is actually going to be um, an array of constants. So we're going to say, uh, we're going to call this the k level generation times. And it's going to be an array of ns time interval. And so all these are going to be are the various generation times for each of our levels. So to start, um, I just want like walls to generate every one second. Then for level two, let's say 0 0.8, level three, six, 0 0.6. 4.4 and level 5.3. So um, those are going to be our generation times, which you'll be able to manipulate really easily after we finish this video here. But um, now inside this method, we want to say wall generator dot stop generating. So we want to stop our wall generator. Then we want to start it again with a new time. So I want to say start generating walls with k level generation times, and I'll go through all of this in just a sec, uh, for the, our current level. Cool. So, um, oh, what's the error it's giving me here? Oh, that should be points label. And 
and now we're just about good. One more thing we need to do is um, before we actually start and stop our generator, we need to actually increment our level. So just remember, just remember the current level plus plus, because this is going to, uh, when we grab the generation time from the array, it's going to grab the next value in that array. Now down here, um, all we did was k level generation times. We grabbed at the index of current level. And remember, we incremented that. So um, this is going to change that time there. So now if we run this, we should get, um, get this up and running here. Come on. Cool. So um, now we're going to start our game. And we're going to notice that after every five points, so four, five, you're uh, going to notice that the walls are coming in shorter intervals. Yeah. So you can kind of start noticing it now. You can kind of mess with the, OK, holy, yeah. <laughs> so it gets, um, it gets fast pretty quick. You can mess with these numbers as much as you want. Uh, to kind of change those times and the distances between the walls. So, um, so it gets like difficult however fast or slow that you want. But um, yeah, that's going to be it. Sorry this video is probably a little haphazard. I kind of had to jump back into the game and um, kind of develop this little attachment to it. But uh, I know I haven't been super active on the channel, but I'm going to kind of start to um, do more with it. Uh, in the next in the next few months, so please leave any suggestions that you want of videos you want to see or um, anything related to iOS or even other programming uh, videos. But thanks for watching, guys. I do read pretty much all of your comments, um, even if I don't respond to a lot of them, just because time-wise, I don't really have time to do that. Um, it's been kind of busy, but yeah. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in a future video.